Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we shall see a quick review of D-Link Eagle Pro Smart Router and also I'll show how to do a quick setup in extender mode. So we'll talk about the setup later. First of all let's have a look at the box and at the router. So this is the main box in which the router comes and as you can see some of the features like it has been optimized for a good performance it has been improved the connectivity is better and it is expandable which means if you use this router as your main router then you can connect many extenders to expand your internet connection it supports wi-fi 6 and it can cover up to a 230 square meter and also you can see it works with ok google and also with amazon alexa see the sides of the box ax 1500 smart router all right on this side we have voice control clean network compliant with the latest security standards gigabit ports which means it's going to support a high speed LAN connection, then we have Wi-Fi 6 performance, future proof your Wi-Fi with coverage that's better, faster and more efficient, right? What we have at the back, alright, so with one router, it can cover up to 230 square meter, with one router and one extender, you can cover up to 420 square meter, and you can see it supports mesh smart roaming, which means if you create a home mesh wi-fi with one network name then it's going to connect to the nearest router or the or with the extender so you will not even know the difference whether your phone is connected to the main router or to the extender you will not even see any drop in the performance as well so that's the box let's see the inside of this box so this is the inside content of the box so all we have is the main router You can see the main router it has four led lights the first one is for the power second one is for the internet third is for the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi and the fourth one is for the 5 gigahertz wi-fi i don't know if you can see the leds properly these are the four leds and then at the back we have three ports for lan one is for internet we have the wps button then we have a reset button inside that hole then we have the power socket that is for dc 12 volt or 1 ampere and if you look at the bottom then we have this d-link r15 badging and it comes with a qr code which is very easy if you want to set up your device then you can just scan this qr code while using the application of d-link we will come to that point later and then if you are going to use the default wi-fi then the SSID, the password and the default router settings can be accessed using this information and also the username and default password is, is written here. This is it. Now there are various ways to connect this router like if you are having one internet connection already you are having one router then you can take one LAN cable and connect to the LAN cable of your main router to this router here in any of these three ports then this router is going to get the internet connection from your main router so your router will get the internet connection and then if you just want to use it you can use this default you can use this default wi-fi password you don't have to do any kind of settings here and also you can use it as a switch which means if you connect the lan cable of your main router to this dealing router then this router is going to work as a switch and then from here you can take out any other LAN and connect to your laptop or your any other device it's going to work as a switch and if you want to use it as a extender then we will see that later let's see what else we have in the box then after that we have one power cable as you can see from here and then we have one LAN cable with RJ45 port and then we have the quick setting guide and with some technical support information so it shows how to connect the router if you are going to use this router as the main router then you will have to connect your van connection to the van port or the internet port it's going to take less than 120 seconds to start up or boot up 
and this is the application that i was talking about the name is eagle pro ai we are going to download this application if you find trouble installing or finding this application then you can use this qr code that's all for the unboxing part now let's get to the application part so all right guys i have downloaded this application which says eagle pro ai you can look for this application on your android play store or apple app store and then you can install it now as soon as you start up the app it's going to ask you to sign in into dealing account if you already have a dealing account then you can sign in otherwise you can sign up so since i already have a dealing account i am just going to sign in with my email so i'll just quickly enter my details here now you can see we have this home page where it says install new device which means i'll have to connect power to my router now i'm going to try to start the installation of my dealing router so i'll just tap here that says install new device now it says scan the setup code located on the label printed on the bottom of your device so i'm just going to scan the bottom of my device so you can see after scanning my device i have received two options now setting up your network how would you like to set up your network first one is set up your new network that means your router is going to work as the main router and the second one is extend my network which means if you already have one internet connection at your place and you just want to extend that internet connection like you want to install your router as an extender to extend the existing internet connection in my case i already have one router which is provided by reliance geofiber so that router is the main router which is uh, getting the fiber optic connection directly to it so from that router i am getting the internet now i just want to extend the network that that i already have so my main router is on the first floor and i am on the fourth floor so i am not getting a good reception of my wi-fi network on the fourth floor so that's why i'm just going to extend my existing network so i'll just tap here extend my network so this is how we can extend our network now it says connect to home network which means we have to connect to the internet connection that we want it means we have to connect to the existing internet connection so i'll just tap here on next now there are two ways to do that either you can connect wirelessly in this case the range extender will extend your network by repeating the wireless signal of your device the second way is by a wired mode which means you can take one ethernet cable and you can connect to the LAN port of your main router and then connect the second end of that LAN cable to your D-Link router and the range extender will act as an access point extending your wireless network by connecting to your router with an ethernet cable so there are two ways i'm going to do that wirelessly so i'll just select this now place your device anywhere between your router and the area where you want wireless coverage so i have placed the device in my room so i'm just going to tap on next now it says power on your device plug the device into a power outlet and i have already done that tap on next now it says when the status led turns solid white tap next so the status led is already white so i can tap on next you might see the message below when connecting to the device please select keep trying wi-fi to set up so just tap on next and in case if you get any message to reconnect to the wireless network to reconnect to the wi-fi or change the wi-fi because it does not have any internet connection you just tap on retry now it's asking for the wi-fi network that you want to extend so in this case my wi-fi network is this so i'm just going to select the existing wi-fi network and i click on next now it's asking me to enter the wi-fi password for my existing wi-fi network 
So I'll just enter the password now so that my device can connect to my Wi-Fi network. And by device, I mean my D-Link router. Now, while extending the Wi-Fi network, you should keep the name or the SSID of the extender to be the same as the existing network. Don't change the name here and also keep the password same. So which means whatever SSID or the name of the Wi-Fi that you are keeping in your existing Wi-Fi network, you use the same SSID or the Wi-Fi name as well as the same password in your extended network. Don't change these credentials, keep them same and then tap on next. Now it's saying protect your device. This password is used to log into your device through the Eagle Pro AI app or the device's web-based interface to access management features. Now this is the password to access your device and by device I mean your D-Link router. You can keep a password here. Tap on next. Alright. Now you can change the name of your device give a name now it's going to save the changes and restart the device and after that the setup is going to continue now once the setup is complete you'll get a message like this congratulations your wi-fi network is now configured your other devices can now connect to your wi-fi network using the wi-fi name and password that you have set up and uh, the details are as below your device name will be different and then Wi-Fi name and password will be different and after that everything's finished so you can just tap on finish and you can connect to this Wi-Fi network then now on the home page your device will be visible like that now if you restart your application then you can see your device like that you can just tap on it and then you can add this device to account that you have created that is the dealing account so you can just tap on add and after that you can see your device like that it shows that my dealing r15 router is connected to the main router which is giving the access to the main wi-fi network and then to my D-Link router, three devices are connected already. So if you tap on the advanced mode, then it's going to open up the web page. There you can log in into the admin page of the router. I hope you were able to understand how to use the D-Link R15 router to extend your existing internet connection. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.